we just lost someone really important in in the swimming world um stefano neuro is that is that how you say his name yeah stefano yeah. yeah uh did you get the chance to work with him a lot actually he was there from day one for me and what what did he do for you what was the type of work that you guys were doing together he was uh he was there during competition and during training so i was I was changing coaches and here I was working with Ukrainian, uh, with the Russian coach, but Stefano was always there. He was coming with his, like, a lot of equipment, tons of cameras. And he would just record and he would communicate with the coach, but he would communicate with me as well. That was mm -hmm. the most important thing because he was communicating with athletes directly and he was sharing and he was listening you know because coaches some coaches can be very pushy on something if they think that that's the way you have to do you have to do the same way i don't know i just i was just coached by a lot of uh, people that were pushing me to do something they were not giving me as much freedom when stefano was always listening what i feel what i think and then he would give his his own feedback and we would work from that um mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a huge, um, there was a huge outpouring from the swimming community. I didn't know him personally, but I just saw a lot of the messages worldwide uh, in the community. Just such like a positive, uh, heart open person. You know, it's just he he arrives to the training camp, and first thing that he will do is that give you a hug. You know, he will just hug you he will ask how are you doing how's your family how's your loved ones you did you start dating anyone or something you know he's italian he's very warm and uh, um he, he 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 was we like because he worked a lot with exactly turkish national team i'm sure we lost a really big personality mm. that day 